Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Your Good Skin product review. Um, I have just done the product review and apply, used it as a base to apply my makeup, hence why I have makeup on at the moment. But when I switch in a minute, I will have no makeup on for the majority of the video because it is a skincare routine video, so... I just had to I just had to go with that so because this is a skincare uh, review I have no makeup on today so apologies for that I do not feel great being on camera with no makeup on but this is what it's about this is about skincare and I'm lucky enough that I do have really good clear skin um, thank you to these products however I do prefer wearing makeup I love wearing makeup so yeah don't feel great with this bare face but we're going to embrace it this is the second review that I've done for your good skin uh, the first one was on the 28 day challenge that I took part in where I tested the products for 28 days and I loved them and because I love them so much I now have a lot more of their products so I'm going to be reviewing a lot of products today some of which I have but I I don't actually use for certain reasons so I'll, I'll discuss that but yeah let's get started so yeah the first product that I'm going to discuss is the most well used product as you can see by the state of the packaging uh, is the face wipes so I have always used face wipes I just find they're the most easy convenient way to clean my face and get my makeup off at the end of the day um, and I've used a lot of different face wipes but actually I really really like these the face wipe themselves they're really thick um, so I feel like I can really scrub my face with it and I can really get all my makeup off um, they smell really good as well I don't know what the fragrance is I don't think there's any fragrance actually in it oh well, it says it's got green tea in it so maybe that's it I don't know but I just really really like them as you can see haven't got many left I'm gonna have to buy some more so I always start at the end of the day by removing my makeup with these so another way that you could remove your makeup um, which I don't personally but you could use this this is the refreshing face wash so I guess it does a similar job to what the um, makeup remover wipes do maybe you could even use the makeup remover wipes and use this afterwards however i don't personally use this one because it's a wet skin wash so you need to pump it into your hand add the water and do it over the sink and i can't personally do that because i have eyelash extensions that you might see um so i need to keep those dry i don't like to get them wet so i don't use this one but I'm going to keep it for a time when I have a break from my extensions and then I can get in there and give them a good scrub. This here I assume could be used alongside this face wash. It's a little ooh, brush and it is so soft, so soft on your skin and I assume that if you're washing your face with the face washer you could use this to really get in there again I'm really looking forward to using this when I don't have these so after I um, remove my makeup and wash my face I like to use a toner so the your good skin toner is actually called a pore minimizing tonic um, so they don't actually use the word toner but I, I think that's what it is. I mean, it definitely feels like a toner when I use it on my skin. So I literally put the smallest amount on a cotton pad and run it over my face after I've removed all my makeup. And it gives you that sort of um, tightening feeling in a good way where you feel like it's really getting into your pores and really cleansing them. Again, and it smells great as well. All their stuff smells really good. So I like to do that and I find... If there's any bits of makeup that you missed when you're doing this with the toner, you'll catch them so you can really be assured that you're not going to bed with any makeup on. We're still talking about um, an evening routine because I've removed my makeup, I've cleaned my face, I've put on the toner. So if it was the evening, I would then put on the overnight cream. This, again, smells lovely. It's really soft. It goes over the skin really well. 
I always expect a night cream to feel a little bit thicker than a day cream. I don't know why, I just, that's what I want from a night cream. I want it to really go in there, be nice and thick. Um, and I feel like I get this from this. So this is what I would wear to bed. So after doing the evening routine, obviously when I wake up in the morning, I continue to use the skincare in the morning in a different way because I, I cannot put on makeup without putting a moisturiser on underneath and to be fair my go-to moisturiser for years now has always been Estee Lauder Day Wear, it has always been my favourite, however there is a close, a close competitor now because I love this. This is the Balancing Skin Concentrate and it's like a really intense moisturising serum and I really like to put this on in the morning underneath my makeup. It makes a really smooth base and makes the makeup go on really well. But as well as that, there are two other things you could use instead. There is the SPF 30 Day Cream. So again, this works in a really similar way. It's just a really nice smooth day cream that you could put on whether you're wearing makeup or not. If you're not wearing makeup, which I don't most days, then it's just good to have on for the day to protect your skin. If not, it's a lovely base to have underneath your makeup. And then the other moisturiser I have is the Instant Dryness Rescue. This one I would only use if I needed some intense moisturiser. So at the moment, you might be able to tell by my voice, um, I have a bit of a cold, so I might use this sort of round, round this area if it was feeling really dry and rough. This stuff's good. It's strong, definitely stronger than the day cream. So worth having. And one more product I wanted to mention is the Soothing Lip Balm that I got sent from Your Good Skin. Um, I'm definitely, well, always have been a Vaseline girl. Don't leave the house without a Vaseline. I get really dry lips a lot, especially in the winter. Um, however, this is now always in my bag. This is my go-to. Soothing lip balm, and it says it hydrates for four hours, and I would agree with that. I always put it on in the morning, and I'll take it out with me, and it's really nice and smooth, and actually, I will put this on underneath my lipstick now. It's a really nice base. So as it's currently the morning, I'm going to do my morning routine and apply my moisturiser and my makeup as I would using Your Good Skin. And because I'm feeling a little bit drier than normal, I'm going to use the day cream as my base. And then I'm going to get started. So there you go, there is my product review on Your Good Skin, on how I use it in the evening and in the morning. I love using these products, so I'm going to continue to use them and enjoy them. And I really think that they are helping my skin stay extra clear and smooth and moisturised in these cold winter months so yeah I, I recommend these products if you want to try something new, if you have trouble with your skin and you want to try something that's really um, sensitive and gentle on your skin then I would recommend these products also. Um, if anyone else has used these products and has similar views or different views I'd love to hear them so please comment below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.